Right. We're very interested in a subgroup of NK cells called GNK cells. And GNK cells may be what we've thought to be quote, memory NK cells, meaning that they work with the immune system to very well recognize uh, things that may happen again after a first exposure uh, to a certain bacteria or virus. And we've tried to take advantage of this possibility in order to grow these NK cells and use them particularly in conjunction with antibody therapy for cancer. There are many cancers that actually have FDA approved monoclonal antibodies. And for example, I treat multiple myeloma and one of the antibody approved is a drug called daratumumab against CD38, which is a protein on the myeloma cells. Many myeloma patients receive this antibody therapy called daratumumab, but these GNK cells can actually help to make the daratumumab work better because they have this sort of memory phenotype where they're poised to be able to interact with these antibodies more efficiently and therefore exert more killing effect on the myeloma cells. We are very fortunate in multiple myeloma to have many therapies that are available and are effective. We're also um, challenged because multiple myeloma is still considered an incurable malignancy. And because of that, patients will always somehow progress on a therapy that they're getting. It may be years after, but at any given time, there are always myeloma patients who are in need of new therapies. Therefore, we want to take advantage of immunotherapy to try to augment the response you would get from an already existing therapy, for example, like daratumumab. We're very excited about this data that shows preclinical efficacy of the GNK cells, and we'd really like to, and we're working very hard uh, to work with the FDA and other um, bodies in order to get this clinical trial off the ground, hopefully uh, within the next six to 12 months.